today in Canada. Look, on the 31st of March, 2023. Look what has happened. It all just popped up today. I brought all my plants out of the house because that's what I do on a nice day. And I get them all by the pond. It just looks nice. And then we can have a coffee and sit here by the pond. It just the plants around the pond instantly makes it look good. This The ice is melted here, but I still have some ice there. We topped up the pond today. But these were all in the house in the south window in the bedroom and in the living room. And the pond looks nice. The fish are still down there. It's just, it, I had ice all over the pond just two days ago. And I still have a glacier here and this blanket got frozen in here and I'm waiting for it to defrost. There's like still a glacier on that side. But it's nice out. It's plus three uh, right now. But it's supposed to go to plus eight today. So it's above freezing. It's good for the plants. I gave them a nice watering. The, it, it's just, it's time. Because the sun's getting higher in the sky, so they get less sun in this house in the summer because the sun starts to move higher in the sky and will shine more on the roof of the house than in the window. So I all my plants get kicked out, all my plants. And there's the money tree over there. Everything looks so nice with the house. Well, these are the plants. My plants live outside all summer and uh, the ones I can save inside all winter. But yeah, I still have a glacier here. It's melting here. Here's the marsh. Soon the yellow flag will come back. Very soon it should start popping up. I want to make the marsh bigger actually right here uh, so I can have more marsh plants and take this out and make it a marsh like another uh, box at that level and it'll flow right over there it'll just be larger in the future so I can have more marsh plants for bio uh, synthesis filtration yeah and then I had rocks I put down there the water was so cold when I put them in there with my hands my hands went numb so it's just a numbing cold. I gotta climb over this glacier of ice right there. Oh, but yeah, everybody looks good. The water's been flowing like that all uh, winter, all summer. And uh, just using the lava rock filtration. But everything looks good this time of the year. Really nice. I'll probably move most of the plants back in tonight. We'll see how cold it gets, the more tropical ones in. Some are a little hardier, those big succulent dishes, but I just have them sitting around the pond because I think it looks nice complimenting the pond. I still have snow here. That fence is stuck in the ice and the snow and that pot is stuck. It's frozen, the ground is frozen hard. You can't get rid of that, but yeah i have to let it melt so and defrost but with the ponds being built up too then they're not still sitting in a chunk of ice like this pot here right you think you could just move it you can't it's frozen it's still frozen even though it's barely there you can't get the thing out without breaking it so with the ponds being built up, right, on a warm day, these defrost fast. Like, they, they were covered in ice just two days ago. And now it's nice. And I have the plants sitting around the pond looking nice. There looks like there's a lily there trying to come back. It's a little tiny shoot there. And then I have this succulent over here. This one, oops, down, down. There we are, and it's just sitting in the pond in a very shallow pot. But yeah, everything looks beautiful. I'm gonna go back to having my coffee. I gotta work uh, this afternoon, but yeah, that's what's going on. And tomorrow will be April. Can't wait, weather's getting better. 
thanks for watching.